What's going on everybody? This is your boy Kenyatta and I'm back with another video in my HTML crash course. In this video, we're going to briefly talk about text editors and how to set one up. Okay, so let's get started. So what's the purpose of text editors? Well, text editors help developers write and maintain code. They usually come feature rich right out the box. Um, and they, these are tools that help speed up your productivity when um, writing code. Um, they can be easily customized to fit your needs depending on the type of work that you're doing. All right. And then there's no such thing, there's no such thing as the best text editor. Um, there's a number of good ones out there. It's all about preference and what you prefer to use. Okay. So most of them usually have similar things in common like syntax highlighting, auto completion, um, IntelliSense and so on. Okay. So I'm going to show you about four of them and um, it's up to you to do your own research and see which one you like and which one you want to, to develop in. Okay. So let me show you a few here. So the first one is sublime text. All right. It's sublimetext.com. They have two versions of free and the paid. Um, you can really accomplish a lot in the free version. But again, it's up to you um, and depending on what type of projects you're working on. Okay. But um, you can take, take a look here. It has a lot of features out the box and you can also add features through its package manager. Next one we have is brackets and it's, you can find that at brackets.io. What this one does, um, I've, in my opinion, I see this is more popular with front end developers, um, mainly because when writing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you can kind of see your changes live with their preview window that's built in, um, which is pretty neat. And then also it comes with support for CSS preprocessors like SES and LAS. Oh, SES and LES, excuse me. SAS and LES. <laughs> Tongue tied there. But um, yeah, it comes pre equipped for that. So again, Brackets is another popular one. All of these, by the way, are cross platform, so you can use them with anything. The next one up is Atom. You can find that at Atom.io. This is another popular one. It's actually built and maintained by GitHub, um, and it's open source. Okay, so that way, if you if you feel like you want to contribute to any projects, open source projects, well, you can contribute to them. And then the last I have here is Visual Studio Code or VS Code. This is what I'll be using in this crash course, and um, you can download this at the website code.visualstudio.com. All right. Not to be confused with Visual Studio Community, that is used for writing C Sharp programming language, okay, and .NET. So you, the one we're looking at is code.visualstudio.com. So when you get here, you'll see a big green button to download for your operating system. Here I'm using a Windows, so it shows me Windows, but you can download it for Mac as well as Linux. All right, once you download it and get it set up, it'll bring you this window right here. And this is your welcome page. Okay. So you'll see this page and then you see an empty panel on your left. This is your project window. So when you get files to show here, they will be right here on the, on the left. Um, if this is your first time diving into development, when you first download Visual Studio Code, it may tell you in the bottom right hand corner to install Git, uh, which is a version control system. I will recommend doing so if this is what you're getting into and what you want to do because Git is very helpful. And I may have a video in the future explaining the benefits and the use of Git. Okay. So with that being said, this is it for the video. And in the next one, we're going to write our very first HTML page. All right. And I'll see you then.